it just, like a weight's lifted off my shoulders. I'm glad to be back. After nearly three months of healing, a local firefighter is back on the job. Charleroi Fire Captain Matt Prentice was injured in July after responding to a fire call in nearby Manesson. Amy Wattis had a chance to see how he's doing on his first day back. She's live to share his story. Amy. Matt Prentice has the address of this home in, in Manesson forever etched in his memory, 418 Parkway Avenue, and that's because this is where he got hurt during a fire call. He was searching the home when he fell through the second floor and was flown to Mercy Hospital in Pittsburgh. The moment I can join, I couldn't wait. 30-year-old Matt Prentice used to spend his days as a kid here at the Charleroi Fire Department with his dad, who's still the assistant fire chief, and knew being a firefighter was his calling in life. Not too many people can say they like going to work, but I love coming here. After 19 years of serving his community, he still loves it and couldn't wait to come back, even after a recent accident at this Manesson home in July. He went to a fire, and we were uh, told that there was kids trapped in there, so we were doing a search on the second floor. And just as I turned, I remember the floor just giving out and that's all I can remember. Prentice woke up on the first floor after going in and out of consciousness, then was flown to UPMC Mercy to get treated for several injuries. And I shattered my humerus on the left side and I had some burns to my back and some bumps and bruises. I have a plate and I think 19 screws are in there. That meant sitting out on the job he loves for nearly three months, visiting the doctor to get x-rays like this one and physical therapy, which he's still going through. But the part he enjoyed the most? I love being there with my son. Which made the accident even scarier for Prentice's boss, Fire Chief Robert Whiten Jr. Knowing that Matt just had a, they just had a, ba a little boy, maybe a year and a half old, I just, that's the first thing I thought, oh no, his family's going to have to suffer a little bit and you, you never want to see that. I don't want to see any injuries. It just it just you know kills you as, as a leader down here to have anybody even like I even said somebody cuts their finger I just you know I feel I didn't do my job somehow. Despite the risks of the job Prentice says he'd do it all over again. That's what we're here for. Save lives. For the love of the job. I'd have been back the day after if I could have. Another Charleroi firefighter was also injured that day. He was sent to the hospital for smoke inhalation and heat exhaustion, but was later released that same day. As for the investigation, the state fire marshal ruled this fire as arson.